so so for Bitcoin specifically, you know, it, it's it's kind of like it, it's this huge thing that I think we all agree will well already has a massive impact on the world, and and it's only going to get bigger, right? The more uh, the more uh, popular it, it gets, and the more uh, we more work we do basically on it. So, I guess at the time I was just looking h- how to like how to position myself within that that framework of having this this thing this this organism almost right the the, the Bitcoin entity. Uh, how how do I how do I interact with it? And I think there there are, there are different ways of of doing that, right? Like for instance, you can just buy some bitcoins, and you can just sit on your ass and you can do nothing, right? Well, that'd be one way of doing it, but that would be sort of like, I, I mean, it's maybe a stretch to call it parasitic, but you're not contributing anything. And I think this this comes from from two, you know, there are two separate ways of looking at this, right? Like I think some people just look at Bitcoin and they think. This thing just works for no reason. Uh, but that's not true. It, it works because there are people behind it that care about it a lot. Uh, and I'm not just talking about the developers. Uh, also, people that uh, make decisions when there is a fork, like uh, Segway2x, right? Which direction do you want to take things? Which direction should things be taken? Uh, and that's all kind of like active. So looking at it from that perspective, I just, I guess like, I just felt this... Um, um, oblig- well, obligation not the right word, but like, um, it, I I wanted to kind of be part of it in a positive way, right, and not just in a parasitic way, and that started off with me uh, organizing meetups here in uh, in in Seoul, uh, 